Hi guys and welcome to my channel Carnival of Creativity. Today's video is going to be a DIY cleaning supplies and how I clean. So please make sure to subscribe if you like this video and without further ado I'm going to hop right into it. So when I'm cleaning like surfaces and things just around the house I like to um, get a uh, like a duster or some a cloth just to wipe the excess dust away before wiping off any marks with a wet a white a wet a wet a wet wipe. Um, this is purely because if you just go straight in with a wet wipe, you get all the dust that kind of like then sticks all together and creates little black bits that are like even harder to get off. So it's just so much easier just to wipe away the um, excess dust with a duster beforehand and then wipe off any marks along the surface with a wipe as well. I do this on the sideboards in the bedroom, headboard, the um, kitchen, not kitchen, the sink in the bathroom, on the top of the toilet as well and um, on the TV stand as well. So the next thing that I like to do is um, use I tend to, I don't tend to dust the kitchen tops just because they're under so much use every day that they don't really get, tend to get dusty and I wipe them down every day once I finish cooking anyway with a multi-surface cleaner. Um, I have made a multi-surface cleaner for this project which I will insert right now. So all you need to make this multi-surface all-purpose cleaner is two cups of water which I'm just pouring into this empty old anti-back um, spray bottle so there's the second cup of water going in then you want to grab some distilled malt vinegar and pop half a cup of this into your bottle as well before adding a teaspoon of sodium bicarbonate or baking soda which you want to do very slowly as you can see here because mine fizzed over a bit but I caught it in the cup and then popped this back in as well and then as well as this you want to pop in two teaspoons of fairy liquid or dish soap whatever dish soap you're going to use and then pop this back together and give it a mix and yeah, and yeah i just use this on the countertops spraying a bit on the work surface rubbing it in getting rid of any crumbs and dirt and debris that's on the work surface can also sometimes use our little duster buster if there's loads and loads of crumbs that i just don't want to just sweep onto the floor um but yeah, the flat's not hugely big, so we do have a hoover, but we don't tend to use it because there's not that much space manoeuvring around things anyway to get the hoover out, and it's just easier with the dust buster. Um, floors wise, as I say, I tend to um, just like either sweep all the dust together and then um, dust buster it up or just go around the edges and things like that and then I use um, floor wipes to, to get off any marks off the floor as well. Into the toilet and the shower and things um, I tend to dust the top ledge but I wait until after the shower is like completely air dry because otherwise again you get the weird black bits of dust that are stuck together. Um, uh, I also like to use uh, toilet fizzers. I got an aroma one from Aldi, uh, like probably like six months ago now. Um, so it's come to the end of it, that one. Um, but I have made some um, toilet fizzers as well, which I will insert here on how to make those. So to make the toilet fizzers, you just want to grab another little cup. I'm using an egg cup just purely because of quantity and I'm using this to measure out one cup of baking soda or bicarbonate of soda and half a cup of um, 
citric acid. I actually doubled this recipe and did um, two of the little cups of the baking soda and one full cup of the citric acid. And then you want to grab some, it said on the recipe lemon essential oil, but I didn't have any lemon essential oil, so I popped some lemon juice in. Um, which didn't seem to have any adverse effect on it and I also popped in some eucalyptus essential oil as well and sort of mixed the oil clumps in and around then in a spray bottle I popped some distilled malt vinegar and I did this over my bowl so I didn't make a mess um, before popping in some hydrogen peroxide as well again another teaspoon of that and then gave this a spray onto the um, dry mix and was mixing this with the back of my teaspoon as I went until it was sort of more um, sticky and clumping together. Um, yeah, a bit like the bath bomb method, I guess. And then once it sort of clumps together nicely, you just want to spoon this into your mold. I recommend silicon molds for this just because they're really easy to pop out but I just popped these in and pressed them down to compact them in with the back of my teaspoon. And then you just want to leave them out to dry and then they'll harden as well. And yeah, they're just, I think they're really cool. Um, if I need to clean, I only put one of the fizzes in like once a week really. If I need to clean it, like during the week as well I'll just pop a bit of bleach in and scrub it with the toilet brush um, I use wipes to wipe up the seat and things once it's been dusted off and um, yeah I think that's pretty much it to be honest that's how I clean it's not a terribly big place to clean anyway but yeah so if you like this video please make sure to subscribe and I will see you all next time bye guys